Assalamu alaikum. Today we will talk about the linear function or the first degree function. So such a function has a shape like this. f of x equals ax plus b. So here are some facts about the, uh, the linear function or the first degree function. So the first one is that it cuts the x-axis at the point negative b over a and 0. And at the same time, it cuts the y-axis at the point b and 0. Finally, the slope of the function equals a. So, let's try this. For example, if we say f of x equals x plus 2 and there are the axes. So, the shape of this function will be something like that. So it cuts the y-axis at the point 2, so 2 and 0, these are the coordinates of the point, which is cut by the straight line at the y-axis. And at the x-axis, we said that it, uh, it's cut by the straight line at the point negative b over a. So it would be negative 2 over 1, which is negative 2, and apparently that's the point on the negative side of the y-axis. So, <clears throat> this is the linear function or the first degree function. We can know why the function is named like that from the drawing of the function on the Cartesian product. So, it's called the linear function because it had the shape of a straight line, so it's linear. And also, it's called the first degree function because the, um, the unknown in the function, which is x, has the power of 1, so it's the first degree. And this is the highest degree of x in the function. There are no x to the power 2, x to the power 3, nothing like that, just x raised to the power of 1. So it's a first degree function. Apparently, the range of the function here is infinity and the domain of the function is also infinity. So we'll have another example. Let's say f of x equals x of power 2 negative 9 over x plus 3. So we don't judge the function by just looking at it from the first side because here we have x raised to the power of 2 so this is a second degree function. No, it's a first degree function because we can factorize that. So f of x equals x positive 3 and x negative 3, the two brackets are multiplied together and we have an x plus 3 here so these go together and finally f of x equals x negative 3 so in order to draw this function on the axis we can use the facts that we mentioned at the beginning of the video uh, the shape of the function will be like that. So, why does it look like that? So, we said that the function cuts the y-axis and the x-axis at certain points. And we can know this, these points from these rules. It cuts the y-axis at the point 0 and b. Uh, and this is b, and it cuts the x-axis at the point negative b over a and 0. 
and this is A. So uh, the points 0 and B here will be 0 and negative 3, and the point negative B over A and 0 will be negative B, which is negative negative 3, is 3 over A and A equal, equals 1, so we have 3 over 1, which is 3, and 0. So this is the point where the straight line cuts the y-axis, it's 0 and negative 3, and this is the point where the straight line cuts the x-axis, which is 3 and 0. So that was the linear function or the first degree function, hope it was clear, it's a simple function. The next time we will talk about the uh, absolute value function, until then I thank you for watching and see you.